Hi, um, it's Dylan from the Tour team, and we're here for our Terra project for today. I'm here with um, Nane from NMP, and we're just gonna ask a few questions uh, uh, for COVID. Um, so our first question is, um, did you face any challenges during COVID lockdown? Uh, yeah, there were a few actually. Um, speaking about employment, my family, um, making sure that you know we're able to continue working. Um, and providing for my own family and also uh, with the community group that we run, ensuring that the other families that are part of our membership were also in a place where they could continue looking after their families as well. So yeah, there was quite a few changes there. Um, there's a, uh, one of our other questions is, um, how do you overcome uh, this, all these challenges? Well, the internet is a beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Zoom was well used in our household, um, not only for connecting with our own whānau and our families throughout Australia and back home in New Zealand, but also connecting our community with their culture and um, being able to provide services like kapahaka online to um, our kids and to our parents. Yeah, that, that was pretty awesome. That's cool. Um, well, another question is, what are the positives that you take out of um, COVID lockdown? Uh, one of the main positives is uh, just thinking outside of the square, not doing the usual things that we used to do in terms of birthdays and, and speaking with our families, because part of it was, you know, you put a Facebook post up saying happy birthday, but you don't actually talk to your family that often. So that was something that was ingrained in us over COVID. Um, once we were told we couldn't um, travel to New Zealand, we wanted to make sure that we could contact our families a lot more. So that was definitely a positive for us. Different experiences that I would not have uh, participated in um, any other way. So that was that was pretty that's, awesome. That's mad. Uh, thank you for jumping on this short interview. And, yeah, peace. Um, um, most of the challenges I faced during the COVID lockdown was mental health problems and communication with my family members and um, I overcame it by being able to talk to them and ask for help and yeah. Yeah, I had very similar um, troubles with mental health uh, going into the lockdown but um, I was able to use family members to uh, support myself and feel empowered. Um, what were some of the positives that you found came out of the lockdown personally? I feel like the positive for me was being able to, um, like, although we were stuck at home, I was still like, allowed to go to work since it was somewhat of an essential job, I guess. And, like, still being able to communicate with people was good because then I could go out, get space, and then, like, come back and I'd be like, refreshed. Um, entering the lockdown with the mental state that I did, I was able to um, uh, work on my own mental health and find ways to uh, be able to support myself. So I think um, one of the positives that came out of the lockdown was that I became a much stronger person. Was there anything you guys learned during the COVID lockdown that you could share with our Pacifica youth and well, throughout lockdown, I started um, doing like um, Maori language courses because um, I spent most of my life here in Australia and I wanted to get more involved with my culture. So I tried as best as I could to start learning the language. And then like throughout the end of it is when like, we started getting involved with Moraka and starting Kids Kapaka to be able to share the culture with other kids. Mm, the um, lockdown came with a lot of opportunity for um, diving deeper into our culture. Um, so I was very similar. I, I took all the opportunity that I could get to learn more about um, who I am and my language and where I come from. So um, uh, I think if I had a message for Pacifica youth, um, it would be uh, to really dive into your culture and um, uh, take on take on the passion um, of understanding who you are.